EFCC asked to investigate 40 billion Naira hotel project linked to Umai. The Economic and Financial Crime Commission EFCC has been asked to investigate the ownership of a 40 billion Naira world class hotel project allegedly being bankrolled by the appointed state governor, Dave Umai. The gigantic edifice with a rooftop swimming pool and a presidential penthouse as one of its many special features is located at number three Olaka Street of Abacha Road, GRA, Portacourt, River State. In a statement signed by its president, Ambassador Pascal Oluchuku, a group association of Epoin State indigenous in diaspora called on the EFCC and other anti graft agencies to begin to gather facts and evidence on the ownership of the multi billion naira structure. According to the group, the call became necessary due to the silence of the governor on allegations linking him to the ownership of the project. AESID also expressed shock at the recalcitrant posture of Governor Umayi in dispelling the weighty allegations connecting him to La Husband Farm Hotel, named after Osborne Umayi being built in Portacourt since images of the building went viral on the social media. Our position on this revelation is that Governor Umayi must pick up on this monumental allegation within at least 24 hours and the anti graft agencies should begin to gather their facts and evidence aright and await the days of reckoning. Knowing that immunity protects him from being prosecuted by the Nigerian government, even at this point, the group insisted. It further expressed anger at the misappropriation of the state's resources, despite the unenviable position occupied by Eboi as one of the poorest states in the country. The statement said the fact that the said hotel project started just in 2016 is even more worrisome for the indigents of a state like Eboin, where endemic and anthropogenic poverty is the order of the day, having been accurately ranked the poorest state in the entire southern Nigeria and the third poorest among the 36 states of the Nigerian Federation. Thank you for listening to this news. They are all the same. They are just like that. Starting from um, from um, uh, Oji Uzokalu down to him himself. I, I, I felt it. I knew it that definitely hands we, we surely touch you. I knew it that Dave Umayi her is, is corrupt from the onset with the way he is handling things in the state. If you watch it vividly well, you will see it clearly that Umayi has a corrupt agenda in Ebony State. I want to um, join those who have, who, uh, I want to um, enjoin those who were called to carry out this investigation, not to be in any way be biased. In fact, aside from the from the team that has been sent to carry out this investigation, I want to suggest that there should be a monitoring team to monitor th this group, because the issue of uh, Mago, Mago, must not affect this very one, because this very one. This very one should be properly carried out. Should be properly carried out because the state of this country, Nigerian, is so bad that anyone 
can accept anything given to him at any at any given point. You understand? So the EFCC that has been sent to carry out this investigation should be able to carry it out without any form of biasness. And there should be a monitoring team monitoring this group very, very well. They should not be given the space for any biasness. Any biasness because I can I I, 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 I can sense an atom of biasness in the person of Dave Umayi. This is started the very day he was appointed the, the, the leader, the president of the Southeast Governors in Nigeria. See the attitude he put up and the way he cornered and, de and deceived the, 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 the PDPs and swapped from PDP to APC. That alone will tell you that Dave Umayi has an eating agenda, and the people on their own side, they don't want to know that. You see that? So what are you going to call such a person? Are you going to say that such a person is uh, has a good, a, a good agenda? They cannot say it, that if such a person is allowed to become a president of this country, I, 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 I promise you, is going to rule this country like a military, uh, uh, as if this country is a military regime. You see that? So enough is enough. I, I, I concur with, the, the, with that decision. The EFCC should carry out the, um, the assignment and carry it out diligently and give it a proper report. There should be no form of biasness in any way. After Umayi, then they cannot proceed to other Igbo governors, all those people that embezzled Nigerian fund. All of them, all of them should be exposed, one after the other. There should be no... No, no, no excuse. None of them should be spared at all. None of them should be spared because they have really dealt with this country. Enough is enough. We can no longer continue like this. Like, th like this. The rich keep getting richer. Why the poor keep getting poorer? Day after day. For what reason and why? Look at. They are saying that there is no money in the, in, 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 in the, in the, in the, in the, in the, in the uh, country's uh, account. Yet they are getting richer, spending money, dumping money in, in foreign accounts abroad. My viewers, what do you think about this? What's your observation? Please deem it free to leave your comments below the comment box. Click on the subscription buttons as well as the bell buttons to get updated whenever. We upload any new videos. Thank you.